Hey everyone, I'm okay, so today I'm going to be taking you through a very quick, very easy, very wearable strobing routine. So let's make a start. Now in this tutorial I'm going to be, as with most things, I want it to look very, very natural, very wearable, so that you can go from day to night having the exact same effect on the skin. We don't want to scare young children and we certainly don't want to distract planes because our cheeks are so shiny. So let's make a start. So obviously the first place I want to do is my cheekbones. Now I'm going to be taking euphoric strobe light and I'm going to be applying this to my cheekbones with my number two brush. Now I want to apply this right to the actual cheekbone area and kind of buff it in on this area. I want it to be highlighted and have a really nice beautiful sheen to it. Now with whatever's left on the brush, and I really mean whatever's left on the brush, I'm going to take that and apply it to the brow bone, but whatever's left, I'm not re-dipping it in. Now, a lot of people tend to highlight and stroke the center here of the forehead. Now, I think that's really strange because we want this area to be quite matte most of the time, so otherwise it can look a bit greasy and nasty. So I'm going to take a little bit on my brush and I'm going to apply it just above the arch of the eyebrow because that looks really, really pretty right here. From forward you can't really see it, then you turn your head and it just picks up the light. Same thing on the other side. Now we're also going to highlight very, very, very kindly down the centre of the nose, but really kindly. And the tip of the nose can look really, really pretty as well. Now you can also highlight the Cupid's bow and onto the bottom lip gives the illusion of a fuller lip. Now these are the standard places to apply product, but you need to bear in mind that if you have very, very large pores or large pores over a certain area, it tends to be better to not highlight or strobe that area because it can just pick them up and make them look much bigger than they are and nobody wants that. And that's it, it's really, really simple. Now I think that this is a really, really pretty way of highlighting the cheekbones without it being too extreme. Now you can also, if you find that it's a little bit too strong for yourself, and you just want to kind of tone it down, take a clean brush and very lightly just buff into the skin. You can also buff over with a bit of translucent powder if it's a little bit too strong, and that will take it away. Now bear in mind that if you're then going to use a really shimmery blush, you're going to then get overkill. So try and stick with a matte blush and then apply this over that or under it, however you want to do it, rather than applying a really shiny blusher, a really shiny highlighter, then a really shiny bronzer, and suddenly everything is shining. By keeping this area here matte and the chin matte, the rest can shine and look really, really beautiful. Now, I don't know if it's picking up on camera yet because I'm not editing it yet, but in the mirror way ahead of me, it looks really pretty and soft and gorgeous and that's what we want. Thanks so much and I will see you all next time. Let me know what you think of highlighting your strobing because it really is the year of the glow without a doubt and this is a great way of doing it and it's so much prettier than all the contouring shit so let me know what you think. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe and I will read your comments. Thanks so much, bye bye.